Let's take a look at Recycle now. I want to introduce you to the Preferences window where you can choose your sound card and the four basic tools you'll be using to chop up your loops in Recycle. When you first launch the program, the first window that you see is this navigation window to allow you to select a loop to chop up. I'll select track 17. The program launches and you can say yes to these first commands. Here we go. Uh, let's look at the Preferences window, which is under the Recycle menu. This is where you would go to select your sound card, for example. We'll change the page from General to Audio. And here you can select whatever sound card you may be using. Under the General page, I also like to change the contrast. This, for me, gets a little bit uh, hard to look at after a while, but if I change the contrast to the left, it really makes the WAV file pop and uh, I think a little bit easier on your eyes as you're working with the program. All right, so this is the main window in Recycle. Um, what you're seeing here is the file that we opened, and we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five different loops in this audio file. One thing to note about Recycle is it analyzes the points in the file where it's, the transients get quiet and get very loud, and it's able to add slices there for you. Um, that's an, a lot of analyzing that it does on the file, so it will not open up large files three or four, five or six minutes. So uh, we want to keep that in mind. I'm going to adjust the sensitivity slider so we can see some of the slices that it begins to add. And I'll talk about the quick commands for zooming in and zooming out later, but let me introduce you to the tools. The tools are right here in this region. We have the arrow tool, the mute tool, the lock tool, and the pencil tool. The arrow tool actually serves two functions. It allows you to grab the slices that the program has dropped in the file for you by clicking on the triangle, and you can move it back and forth to adjust the position. And the arrow tool also serves as an audition tool. You notice that as I move the cursor in between the slice, it turns into a speaker. And if I click with the mouse, I can hear what's in between those slices. Second tool is the mute tool, which is used to remove a slice in case it's added a slice where it's not needed. Third tool is the lock tool. If I click on the triangle of any slice with the lock tool, that slice will remain in place regardless of where I set the sensitivity slider. And finally, the pencil tool is used for you to add a slice wherever you feel is necessary by simply clicking in the window. So those are the basic four tools. Now let's take a look at the quick commands that you'll be using to use the program efficiently in the next video.